Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. I'm very excited to be back with you guys today as we are gonna continue our fall decorating. I'm gonna decorate several areas in the kitchen, possibly a tear tray, depending on how much time we have. If you guys are ready for some inspiration and some ideas and bringing that fall into the kitchen, then let's decorate.
Okay guys, so I'm just gonna give you a quick run through of what we did tonight. This is the island. This is the bread bowl that we filled up. I just put some pumpkin, some cinnamon, it's got sage. It's got a lot of different things in it. I really like the way that turned out. Our beautiful baker's dish that we'll be putting a bunch of baked goods in soon. And then here's our tear tray. I actually have more Halloween tear tray items than Fall Guys, so I went ahead and pulled out a couple of mugs. I actually went with my daughter and painted. We went to one of those ceramic pottery studios together and I painted this owl and had it glazed. So I picked the owl so I could use just for my tear tray. We had a really good time. And then here's our table setting that we did. Placemats came from Hobby Lobby and I used my beautiful animal print plates. I bought four, but I used the deer and the owl and then I decorated with the other one, the other two. We have our apple orchard candle. These chargers have little acorns on them. I think they turned out really nice. I'm very pleased with the way this turned out. Next, of course, y'all have seen this before, our little sand and fog nutmeg soap here, a little candle, and then that little floral. I also have an additional candle. I have candles just everywhere tonight. This house smells really good. This is how the two shelves turned out. I think they look really good. You guys probably know that pumpkin. It came from Hobby Lobby. You can always turn it around. The other side is solid white if you want to do that. And up here on the top, you guys, I just have some lights, warm lights. And then I just covered the shelves with some raffia over the light so the lights would shine through. I wanted it really, really simple because you guys know I've talked about this before. I'm not gonna have a space over the cabinets when we build the house next door. If they're gonna go all the way to the top, I just, I don't want that space. But I did wanna throw some decor up there to make it look a little more cozy. But I wanted to keep it simplistic. So I kept my white Ross teapot and sugar things up there. And then a pumpkin on each side and just a little extra pumpkins. And I actually kept the Ray Dunn pumpkins with the writing to add just a little bit so so it wasn't all solid white. And I'll give you a closer look at the end of this video. All right, this is how the top of the refrigerator came out. I've got my cake stand since we have this other pumpkin stand for baked goods. I used that one just to decorate with and put raffia and different colored pumpkins in it. And then those leaves and my new vase and then this grapevine pumpkin, and then this light up pumpkin, and I put some orange lights, fairy lights in that because I wanted it to be a little different. And then I just threw the striped towel on my mixer. Most of the time my mixer stays to the back, but this time I use this so much from now until New Year's Day, I did not want to put it in the back and have to move a bunch of stuff. But I think it turned out really, really nice. All right, friends, so we are finished with our decorating for today. I do a lot of decorating into the night. You can see it's like eight after 11, but I've had a lot of fun with it. I had a really good time decorating with you guys. I hope I went over everything. If you have any questions or comments about anything, you guys know you can leave a comment down below. I'll be glad to answer any questions. Please leave those down below. I love to hear you guys' suggestions and ideas. I hope all of you guys are getting your home decorated and getting some inspiration from these videos. If you haven't subscribed yet to my channel and you'd like to do so, I would love to have you as part of my YouTube family. Just click that subscribe button. Also, if you have family members or friends who love decorating, you can share this video with them and let them see the ideas that I came up with and maybe that can give them some inspiration as well. Don't forget to go to my Instagram and check out the reels that I'm doing over there on a daily basis. I'm also gonna be throwing up more shorts here on YouTube 
just so I can touch base with you guys a little bit more about what I'm doing. So be looking for those as well. Don't forget to hit that bell for notifications as next week we will be decorating the bedroom and the bathroom for fall slash Halloween because we're kind of getting into the Halloween months. I start in September for Halloween just to give you guys ideas before October 1st. We're going to be doing some new bedding, all of that, throw pillows, all the cozy feels. You guys make sure you stay tuned for that. All right, so I will see you guys on the next video. Take care.